Imam al-Ghazali, known as Hujad al-Islam, collected and set out some of the Prophet's traits as related by such great Islamic scholars as Tirmidhi, Tabarani, Bukhari, Muslim, Imam Ahmad, Abu Dawood and Ibn Majah. The Holy Prophet was the most patient among men, the bravest, the best judge, and he who pardoned most. He was the most charitable man. He did not store up for more than a year the provision of his family members which God was pleased to give him. He used to take one-fifth of what easily came to him out of dates and wheat. What remained in excess he used to give in charity. He used to give away in charity to him who begged of him anything, even out of his stored up provision. He did not take any revenge for personal wrongs, but he used to take it for preservation of the honor of God. He used to speak the truth, even though it was sometimes a cause of trouble to himself and his companions. He was the most modest without pride, and his tongue was most eloquent without prolongation of speech. His constitution was the most beautiful. No worldly duties could keep him busy. He used to go even to a distant place to see the sick, loved scents, and hated a stench or bad smell sat with the poor and the destitute and ate with them. He did not treat harshly to anybody and accepted excuses offered to him. He accepted sports and pastimes as lawful, played with his wives and held races with them. He did not hate the poor for their poverty nor fear the kings for their mighty power. He used to call the people, high or low, towards God. God adorned him with all the qualities and good administration. Almighty God taught him all things, all beauties, the best paths, what had befallen his predecessors, and what would befall all those who came after him, that which would lead to salvation in the hereafter, and to happiness, and those things to be desired and not desired in this world. May Almighty God permit us to obey His commands and follow in His deeds.